prosperity, or adversity? Which of these profits us more? Good morning, and welcome to the Manna to Live By. One day at a time. Five minute devotionals. Today is September 11th. The scripture portion for our meditation today is from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verses 11 and 13. Beware, that you do not forget the Lord your God, when all that you have, is multiplied. As a general rule, God's people cannot stand material prosperity. They thrive much better under adversity. In his parting song, Moses predicted that Israel's prosperity would ruin them spiritually. But, Yeshurun grew fat, and kicked, you grew fat, you grew thick. You are obese. Then, he forsook God who made him. And scornfully esteemed the rock of his salvation. Deuteronomy 32:15. The prophecy was fulfilled in Jeremiah's day, when the Lord complained, when I had fed them to the full, then, they committed adultery, and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. Jeremiah 5:7. Again, we read in Hosea 13:6, when they had pasture, they were filled, they were filled, and their heart was exalted, therefore, they forgot me. Hosea 13 6. After returning from exile, the Levites confessed that Israel had not responded properly to all that the Lord had done for them. So they ate, and were filled, and grew fat, and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you, cast your law behind their backs, and killed your prophets, who testified against them to turn them to yourself, and they worked great provocations. Nehemiah 9 25 and 26. We tend to look upon material prosperity as an undeniable evidence of the Lord's approval of what we are and what we do. When profits in our business soar, we say, the Lord is really blessing me. It would probably be more accurate to look upon those profits as a test. The Lord is waiting to see what we will do with them. Will we spend them on self-indulgence? Or, will we act as faithful stewards, using them to send the good news to the uttermost parts of the earth? Will we hoard them in an effort to amass a fortune? Or, will we invest them for Christ and his cause? F. B. Meyer thus said, if it should be debated as to whether sunshine or storm, success or trial, were the severer test for character, the shrewdest observers of human nature, would probably answer, that nothing so clearly shows the real stuff, of which we are made as prosperity, because this, of all tests, is the severest. Joseph would have agreed. He said, For God has caused me, to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Genesis 41:52. Joseph profited more from adversity than he did from prosperity, although he conducted himself favorably under both circumstances. Let's pray. Father, I want to be a faithful steward, and so, help me, Lord, to consider all that you give me, whether prosperity or adversity, as a resource for investment to carry on your business, in this world. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Prosperity? Or adversity? Which of these profits us, more? Today's Manna, originally written by, William MacDonald. Adapted, and developed as Manna to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for You Too. By, John Benjamin. Ben Grace at gmail.com.